This video is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com. When you run out of things to say, you just use emojis, or in my case, since I'm out of ideas, I'm resorting to emojis. So yes, we're going to create an emoji tutorial. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is gonna be a really interesting and fun tutorial. Perhaps you need something for social media or you need to just do some, I don't know, animated emojis. This tutorial is gonna show you how to get any emoji that you're looking for, whether it's iPhone or Android or any other social media platform that has its own emoji set up. And then we're gonna break this tutorial into two parts. So the first part, we're gonna talk about how to animate emojis, like just their faces and stuff, and you're gonna be able to do that, right? And then in the second part, we're gonna talk about how to turn our emojis into like a particle system so we can have millions of the same emoji within one particle system. So maybe you're doing like a social media ending screen or you just need a, a million of them, who knows? You have a million, a million uh, heart emojis. Hey, Valentine's Day. Not. Anyway, before we jump in this video, I gotta give a huge thanks to PremiumBeat.com for sponsoring this video. PremiumBeat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an incredible music library with thousands of songs to choose from, and PremiumBeat has been my go-to in finding soundtracks for the last few years because of how easy it is to find great soundtracks that fit my projects. So for your next awesome video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty free music. So first we're gonna talk about how to animate these emoji guys really quick and then we'll do the particles. So here in our tutorial composition, I have some emojis and if you wanna pick up emojis, I will drop these links in the description. One of the links will take you over to uh, this website called Emoji Island and you just click on a emoji that you want to download and you can just download as a PNG. And the reason why we're choosing this site to download emojis is because it has the uh, largest resolution that I can find with about 600 pixels, which is probably more than enough. And then, then I'll like another site that has pretty much every single emoji that you would want, but the resolution is smaller. I couldn't find any free vectors of this. So if you do find any free vectors of emojis, please comment that link so we can actually put that in there. I, I couldn't find any vectors. Maybe I'm just a boomer. I don't know. And if you're looking to save time emojis, there's actually an emoji template on Video Hive. I will drop that link in the description if you want to just take a look at that. So we're going to take a look at three different examples of animations here. So let's go ahead and let's get started on this. We'll start with my favorite emoji. Yeah, that is my favorite emoji. Just look at it. Like, come on. That says so much with like one facial expression. Like, so much. Anyway, let's go ahead and animate this. So what we want to do is double click it. So you see that's right here in this composition. I have transparency on so I can see a little bit better. And we'll come here to the top where it says the puppet position pin tool, or I just call it the puppet tool. And this is just gonna be a classic way of animating a still PNG graphic opposed to say like a vector object where you'll have a little bit more control. If you are animating with vectors, I do have tutorials on how to animate with vectors correctly. So I want to animate his ears and get his face animating. So what we'll do here is we'll click a point here and over here, all right? And this will like pin down his ear and then we'll click a point on top of his ear. And now you can see we can kind of move his ear a little bit, um, that's fine. And then we'll do the same thing for the other ear and you know, you can move it and kind of stays in place. But one thing I also want to do is kind of add points around his face. This is what this way it won't move so much when we do some animation. Awesome. Then we'll go ahead and add say a point right here in the middle and then now we can kind of move up his face and whatnot. It might need to add a point there at the top. There we go. Perfect. So now we can really do some cool things here and I'll just lock him in place a little bit better. All right. So cool. I got him locked in place now. And what we'll do here is we'll move forward in time maybe by 17 seconds and we'll just move this uh, pin up and we'll move up his ears. So this will animate, you know, everything that we're moving here. Then we'll just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And there's a lot of, uh, pins here with keyframes, but so what I'm going to do is just kind of come through here and uncheck the stopwatch for the pins that we're not animating. This way I don't get confused and be a little bit more efficient. And then I'll just hit U again and then boom, there's our keyframes. Then what we'll do here is copy our keyframes, select them all, and we'll move forward in time. We'll paste them, move forward in time, paste them, move forward, paste them, and then you can just do that for however long you need that to be. So now, really quick, we've been able to just animate our emoji really simple and it looks like he's come to life a little bit so you want to pick spots that you can quickly animate 
obviously the ears were a good giveaway and then animating his face I think it's just perfect so back in your main composition that will carry over quite easily and then you can also hit like R on your keyboard for rotation and all click the stopwatch and type in wiggle open parenthesis uh, 0.5 comma 20 and those just add like a little extra animation to him and you know that is perfect I love it that's good okay so this is a basic way of doing this kind of you know quick and lazy if you will but it works so now let's go ahead and talk about some more advanced animation techniques so let's take our winking eye over here okay there's a lot we can do here I want to animate the tongue I also want to make his kind of want to make him blinking because he's winking right so I want to make him blink so what we'll do is we'll go to layer pre-compose with just uh, this emoji selected move all attributes and new comp and just click OK. All right, we'll go into that composition and we'll come here to the ellipse tool. All right, and then we'll go up to edit, duplicate. So we'll have two copies and simply we'll draw a perfect mask. You hold down shift and control on your keyboard to make sure that's like gonna be a perfect circular mask. And then we'll just, you know, move it over. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you know, as long as you get this eye in there, uh, move it over to cover up, to kind of put it in place where his other eye would be. All right, pretty simple, right? So how we can start us off with is we can just go forward by a few frames and go up to edit split layer and we'll just offset this layer in time. So basically boom goes away and then we can have it pop back up, you know, split the layer, move that forward in time. So now one, go two, you know, works great. And you can just do that a few times. It looks really awesome. I like it and it's all coming together here. So since we have multiple layers here, what we can do is just go to layer pre-compose and we can call this wink face done or something. Then we'll come here to the puppet pin tool. So we'll come here and just add our points to him. I'll just do lock him in place. And then for us to animate the tongue, be pretty simple. Just lock the corners in place and then we'll put one down here. And then we can add a point right here in the middle, move forward and we can just wiggle it a little bit. It might distort it by a touch, but this was a very uh, cheap way of doing it rather than having a vector so if you do have a vector you'll be able to separate this very easily so now we have a very smooth and easy animation on this emoji so let's talk about the last one and here's a crying face emoji and it's the same concept as the winky face is that I masked out the teardrops and I simply just displaced them in time and animated them downward so you know just look for things like that but another technique that we could use to quickly you know animate an emoji as a whole this is why we're jumping into the crying face so we go to effect distort and we can grab warp all right set the warp style to bulge then set the bend to zero and I'll click the stopwatch and we'll type in wiggle open parenthesis I know two comma 40 close parenthesis and this will you know it's a crying laughing face this is where that makes sense and you don't have to use a puppet pin tool for this technique and I just wanted to show that one so now we have all three of these guys animated and you can see how these techniques work and you can apply it to any emoji that you're working with and you know pretty much unlimited possibilities. So now that we've animated an emoji and I don't know why that's really like a my animation symbol. Hello. We're going to go ahead and jump into the next part of the tutorial and we're going to turn this stuff into particles so you can have a million emojis. So now we have this heart emoji flying in uh, with particles and this is super easy easy to do it's ridiculously easy so let's go ahead and let's create that so first things first what we need to do is grab that emoji so I have this heart emoji I'm using a lower 120 resolution of this because it doesn't need to be crazy um, and what we're gonna do is go to layer new solid and we can call it particles and that's not how you spell particles and let's go to effect simulation and we're gonna grab CC particle world all right awesome and I'll just hide the background okay and I'll also hide our heart emoji as well. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go into the particle and go to particle type and set this to textured square. Go to texture, go to texture layer and set that to your emoji layer. In my case, it's layer two. And now we have some hearts in here. So I can go here, play it through. Awesome. Except this is not fun to look at. So we'll go ahead and customize this to our own needs. So the first thing I like to do is take a look at the particle tab right here where it says birth size and death size. You can increase the size uh, however you want. So we can set the birth and the death to one. You can see you want to keep those numbers the same if you want it to be the same size. And also set the size variation down to zero. 
and increase the max opacity to 100%. So now everything will be as if it's the image. Now the big thing is the producer, okay? So we can increase the radius X, so it goes across the composition, and instead of increasing the radius Y, I wanna to go to position Y and put this above our composition. So everything will be generated from the top. Every, and these particles are dying. So what we need to do is increase the longevity here just to be however long it needs to be without it dying inside the composition. All right, awesome. And let's move our particle layer forward in time so they'll already be up there unless you want them to come down, then don't do that. But there this is at and boom, it's moving super fast. I don't like it. So let's go into the physics. So what we'll do is we'll set our velocity down to zero and we can set our gravity to like 0.1. So let's take a look what we got here. And you know, I think that's still a little bit fast. So maybe we'll do like 0 0.01 and now we don't see anything. And simply just need to move this forward in time and everything dies out. So continue to increase the longevity. Then we need to set down our birth rate down to like 0.1 or something, maybe 0.2. And now we have a little bit of a steady flow of particles in here. We come here to extras and we can change the random seed. This way we can kind of scatter things. You can always adjust the producer to expand things or you can put it down in Z space. There's a lot you can do, um, but just kind of take a look at everything. You can even add a floor. So we come here to like floor, go to floor action, set to like bounce. And you know, they'll bounce off the floor as they come down, like right there. You know, that's pretty cool. And then they'll continue to go in the other direction. Make sure we set our longevity way up though. Okay, so now we have all of our techniques combined together and that is really dope. And to close off this tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our motion graphics starter pack, which is this After Effects extension template right here. And this is our template of 500 templates ranging from titles, animated backgrounds, accent motion graphics, logo animations, and shape transitions. And we built this pack to help enhance the value of your compositions with our accent motion graphics extremely fast, while also producing you with the essential motion graphics like titles and animated backgrounds. So you can effectively use this on every single project you're working on. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack, that link will be in the description. And if you do pick it up, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so that concludes our tutorial on creating animated emojis inside of After Effects. Congratulations, now you can impress your significant other with some animated emojis you know it could be extra romantic or i don't know or maybe you're out of ideas like me and you just want to add like that one winky face emoji into your client's video and you're guaranteed to get hired back of course you gotta add the winky face anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating